came to Park City because I donated all of my ski wear collection to the Alf Engen Ski Museum, and we put on a big fashion show. When I took up skiing, I was hooked. And I even joined a ski club to learn to ski. I even taught skiing at Hunter Mountain back east. And there I met a man who ran ski shows. And he liked me and he hired me to do the ski shows and I fell in love with him. So from ski shows, I went to Fashion Editor Skiing Magazine. And then I did 11 years of television tours. Then I was hired as Fashion Editor of Snow Country Magazine. And we had trade shows and I did fabulous choreographed fashion shows at the SIA shows. So I had a lot of clothes. Sometimes I was paid in clothes. <laughs> I know there were very sleek looks and Bogner, of course, in the 70s used this nylon and had stretch insulation. They were very form-fitting. And the 70s also had narrow shoulders that widened to a flared leg, which gave you a very long, sophisticated look on skis. And then the shoulders went wide, pants went tighter, and the neons came in. And you know, you can never lose your kids, boyfriend or whomever in neons. I love neons. <laughs> I like onesies. Everybody's looking into them now, but I love neons. And they were so bright and colorful in the show. I mean, to see the pictures it was just astounding. I think the thing I love the most was just being in the ski industry because the people are so wonderful. And the ski industry was pretty small when I started in 1968. So I knew everybody and everything. And we all cared for each other and promoted the sport. There are a number of us who are like a big family. And originally we called ourselves the Turtlenecks. <laughs> we went from city to city. We did like 16 cities a, a month. And then we went, did ski shows on the weekend. And well, one of my dancers and a choreographer, Liz Vineski, came out and really astounded everybody in the show because she did acrobatics. Well, I became the first Women in Industry Award winner for the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame. They're trying to recognize women more, and the Hall of Fame generally recognizes men, but this is the first time they've recognized a woman. Go up to the Alf Engen Ski Museum it's up the hill where the ski jumps are and the bobsled run. It's a fabulous museum and I have a big display there. I have a flat screen TV showing 11 years of TV shows, including the Today Show twice. And uh, go visit the museum. There's so much to do and see it. It's free.